Hey YouTubers, Dcollector777 here with another retro gaming and uh, action figure haul video. Um, sorry for the little hiatus guys, I took uh, about two weeks off in video making, or it could be a week, I believe so, because it's the, the weekend in between the two. And as you can see, how um, based on how full that shelf is I did not stop the hauling but just you know just put off the video making just a little bit because um it is garage sale season or the peak of garage sale season around my area so there is a lot of stuff out there um well one of the biggest hauls that I picked up two weeks ago I believe for I paid a hundred dollars was this uh, PS3 Slim Bundle with The Last of Us. It is complete. Paid a hundred bucks for that and the guy threw in the Grand Theft Auto 5 as well so I thought that was a great deal for that. Comes with both both games, the Batman and The Last of Us. I haven't played that yet but I've been hearing only good things about it so I gotta check that out and start that soon. Now on with the haul. Um, so I'm going to start off with the action figures first. <clears throat> About, uh, yeah, sometime last week I found this at a Goodwill. Uh, G.I. Joe Buggy. This is uh, from the 80s. And it is in great condition. It's, I mean, the antennas are a little bent. But other than that, stickers are great. Which back in the day, the, the stickers were built like tanks. And I like the stickers today. That was that. Um, I also found this at a Goodwill for $2. Which I've been searching the stores when this came out. And always missed out on the Deadpool. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know why somebody would donate this. But hey. More for me. So there's that. And today... I encountered some old school Ninja Turtle stuff, which I always pick up. Um, biggest one to start off is the. Oh, let's see if I can get this all in the shot. It's the Ninja Turtle helicopter. I mean, some parts are missing, but the mechanics work. I didn't have this one. I have. I found the van, but not the helicopter. I got this Dino dude. I don't know his name. This is, I believe these came out in the later 90s or the late, later in the series, cartoon series. That guy, I got, I found a splinter and I forgot this guy's name, the duck dude. And also one that I don't see that often. I believe he is a neutrino. Part of the neutrino race I thought that was pretty cool and this whole bundle right here the guy sold it to me for a dollar so I could not pass that up so that's it I believe in terms of uh, toy haul or action figures now in terms of games let's just get this out of the way uh, this past Friday, I noticed a Craigslist ad for a garage sale that had, it just said Game Boy. So, I head on down there right when they opened. And I asked him if he had any other games. He said, what kind of games are you looking for? Um, I go, you know, older stuff. And he's like, oh, I have some Super Nintendo games. I was like, sweet. So, it brings them out, charging me, I believe... I think if I do the math right, it's about a dollar fifty or two dollars a piece on these guys. So I got six of them. First one is King Arthur's World. I did not have this one. Adding this guy to my collection. A Tato Supernova. Tato brand. We got Pit Fighter. I have this on the Genesis, but it's cool to have it on the Super Nintendo now. And this is a shame. I do not have this game, but 
um, or I did not have it, but the label is all messed up. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, it's alright though, it's still playable. Might want to upgrade later on. And this one I did not have either, Tetris and Dr. Mario combo. And the best one of the bunch, which made my eyes go wide when I saw it, is Mega Man X. So yeah, I paid a little under $10 for this bundle, or yeah, just about 10 bucks. So not bad. Now, um, let's see. Today's haul... Um, I noticed some one posted that they were gonna have uh, Pokemon. Yeah, this was more of like a handheld haul for today. For some reason, I found a lot of handheld stuff. So um, I go to the one that posted that they had uh, Game Boy games, and this is the baggie that I encountered. I believe I paid uh, thirty dollars for this lot for this uh, baggie, and. Which I felt was a great deal. These two are complete in box. We got Fire Red Pokemon for the Game Boy Advance. And Final Fantasy IV Advance. This is complete as well. So I thought that was a, a great... I mean just these two alone pretty much pays... Or maybe just this one alone pays for the whole bundle. But let's keep on going. Let's go with the Game Boy Color games first. We got, uh, I believe that's San Francisco Rush 2049. And Gets 3. And the best one out of the Game Boy Colors. We got Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. This one I did not have, so good edition. Now for the Game Boy Advance games. We have Lord of the Rings, Two Towers. Uh, we got. Sorry about that, kind of bumped it. Um, we have Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3, Mario Kart Super Circuit, uh, Mega Man Battle Network Blue Moon, I don't think I had this one, Wario Land 4, this one I know I did not have. Lacking on the Warrior Lands a little. Not so much anymore. Pokemon Sapphire. Pokemon Ruby version. And last but not least, we have Pokemon Emerald. There we go. These are legit. I could tell because it's spelled out Nintendo. All the fakies one sometimes says Nintendo. So, um, I head off to the last uh, garage sale that I went to that um, I hauled and came up with more handheld stuff. These were $5 each, which was an awesome price because they were in great condition. Uh, the red and black Nintendo DS. So that came with the charger. And... Also got in this little baggie an awesome condition. I believe this is the pink coral um, version or color. And this came with the um, power cord as well. So $10 for those two. Not bad. Now in terms of games, I got a little little bit of um, all types here. First off we got the, I believe this is a bootleg, Chinese bootleg Game Boy Color Pokemon. 
with Venusaur on it. And here's another bootleg, the 80 in 1 Game Boy Color. Um, like 80 games in one cartridge. That's crazy. Now these are the realies. Uh, authentic. We got um, Ms. Pac-Man. I believe, yeah, it's a special color edition. Um, out of Gas. Donkey Kong Country. And Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. Yeah, so these, I think, were thrown in, actually, with the deal, if I remember correctly. Now, in terms of Game Boy Advance games, I have Golden Sun, Mario Golf, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario Advance get to focus and out of that bunch one DS game we got Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars this one I did not have so that's another great addition and I believe that is it there you have it folks again sorry for the little hiatus in my uh, video making but as always happy hunting and thank you so much for watching